Right, so I finally got my hard drive to put into my new uh, Synology storage or uh, disk station as they like to call it. At the moment there's no drives in there whatsoever. I've added extra RAM. Uh, I've got a M.2 to add to it. It's little baby here. But that's not going to go in there just yet because I need to use this because it's still got some information I'm getting off and I haven't finished doing it yet. So that will be going in there sooner rather than later. So I just need to put a hard drive in there now and I've decided to go with the uh, Western Dish Tools Reds. Uh, and the reason I've gone for the Reds is because they're very reliable. In my cloud storage that I have in the other room that I've had for a uh, couple of years now, I've never had an issue, touch wood. I have two uh, drives in there and I think the total is six terabytes, but that's because there's two in there. And they've been running quietly, minding their own business, doing the job. So I'm quite happy with Western Dish Tools. And the other reason I like this one is that this is a component box delivery. And basically what that means is it doesn't come in a retail box. You know, when you get a flashy box, and I, I like to do the unboxing and show you my flashy box. But it was a lot cheaper to get it out of the box. So it's just a packaging box. It probably had bubble wrap in it to uh, protect it. And the other reason you might want to uh, buy something like this, designed and tested for personal home office, uh, one to eight bay NAS environment for larger applications, please use Western Digital Red Pro hard drives. I'm not sure what the Pro stands for, but I'm assuming it's uh, probably slightly faster and maybe more robust so it lasts even longer. I'm not sure. But I'm very happy with the one I've got. It should do everything I want it to do. It cost me just under £200. It's about £196. And I had to wait a few days. It wasn't like next day delivery. I had to wait for it. It took about a week to turn up. So that's why I'm happy to see it now. So what we're going to do now, obviously we're going to do the unboxing and plug her in. I'll quickly show you around it once I know you, uh, get it undone, of course. I know, I know you like to see these sort of things. And why would I go for something like this? It's purely for the size. At the moment, uh, M.2s, I think the biggest you can get is two terabytes, which is what I've just installed inside my PC. So yeah, bubble wrap, not very well actually. The bubble wrap feels as though it's already popped. A little bit disappointing in that bubble wrap actually. I thought they might have done a better job, but hopefully it won't have damaged it. But we'll see. So it comes in a static bag, or anti-static bag, I should say. Right, so I'm going to have to cut that and on. So that's it, that's basically all you get. With my knife, I'll move that out of the way. Mind the cat. Oh, I ain't got a cat, have I? <laughs> I mean, six terabytes, yeah. I think, well. And they do 12 terabytes. I need to get older of 12 terabytes. So that, that is your basic hard drive. And there's all your connections. So that would just slot in using them. One for power and one for connectivity. And yeah, there you go. Six terabytes. Western Digital 60 EFRX is the uh, number for it. So the NAS, a NASWARE, it says NASWARE. That's what it says there. NASWARE 3.0. So this is the latest one, made, made in uh, Thailand. Uh, oh, it's made in Thailand on 21st of December 2018. And I didn't know, didn't know they stamped it, but yeah, they put a stamp on it and actually told you what it's actually made. That's really nice. So yeah, first impressions, yeah, maybe. And the reason we're doing all this is because my internal hard drive, which is three terabyte on this computer, I have about six hard drives in there, by the way, but one of them is for all my videos that I make. And uh, it's nearly full, full up. So I need to get it off and install it into that. So that's what we're going to do next. Right, let's do the installation then, shall we? So it should be fairly easy. Just take it out, take these little covers off, these side covers. Like so, slip them at the end. Put the hard drive in. And I do believe it goes that way. So that way to that way. It's important that you get it around the right way because it's got to make connection inside there. So I just push it in. 
uh, get the holes lined up like so. so they've got two little holes there so just make sure you can see the holes in there and that looks about right you can screw them in as well if you wanted to uh, but we're not going to be doing that because uh, we don't need to so and then just put these plastic covers back on these covers will actually lock it in place snap them in, that's that side right, so I've never done this before so it's a first for me as well but I'm looking forward to playing about with the NAS and uh, this and seeing what software I'm going to use because I haven't made my mind up yet about what software I'm going to use so that's in and, and that looks flush so it should not fall out but I'm going to keep my hand over it just in case <laughs> but it shouldn't fall out and then basically if you got it around the right way, it should just slot in, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. In. There you go. Job done. Right, so I've done a full mat. It's running nicely. Oh yeah, by the way, I changed the shirt. It's running nicely. I've got no issues with it, and touch wood, I shouldn't have any issues with it. It's a Western dish tool. It's a six terabyte. It's sitting in there. In fact, I'm thinking about buying another one just to go in there with it. So yeah, I'm very pleased. I've always liked Western Digital. I've been buying Western Digital for over 30 years and I've bought other brands in the past as well. But the Western Digitals have never failed me. I have had some failures on other brands, but never Western Digitals. And they're not promoting this video. They didn't give me a free hard drive or anything like that. I'm just telling you my personal opinion. I've been buying them for 30 odd years and they've never let me down. Touch wood. It's always the first time, isn't it? So yeah, does it get Yorkies thumbs up? Definitely. I highly recommend, if you're looking for a reliable hard drive and a mass storage, I highly recommend Western Digital. Like I said, they've never let me down. And you get a three-year warranty as well, which is a bonus. So yeah, I'm very happy. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.